Today I wanted to talk about the, the very uh, meaning of radiance itself. And it's a brightness beyond what we see in electric bulbs and so on. It's a radiance, uh, a luminescence coming, a glory coming from divinity itself. And then focusing in through Christ and through each of us to, to the degree that we can receive it, uh, the glory then is extended and activates God's spirit of light in each of us. So it's really an exchange as we reach into the glory, into the, into the great radiance, which Christ is sending to us in so many different waves and so many different um, vibrations and frequencies. Uh, there's a meeting and every day when we pray or meditate or face a, a challenge or an opportunity in our life, if we open ourselves to that opportunity in that moment, then the glory comes in. And we come to Christ with open hearts and with great love, asking for nothing, but we do ask that we can love him more and please him and serve him and his great cause. And so the great verse in Gospel of John, out of his fullness, we all receive grace upon grace. Everybody is open to that fullness of Christ coming in, that radiance of Christ. And you can uh, develop that practice every day of your life more and more. You wake up in the morning, and you open yourself and you say, to your glory may this day be fully lived, O Christ. That radiance then pouring in, it's always pouring in, but it uh, pours in more when we are conscious and receptive of its coming and of its insights and its inspiration and, as I say, the glory of God coming through us. So. Uh, the idea is to help Christ in whatever way possible, and his great cause is what we're trying to contribute to in the best ways that we have to offer. And his great cause is to awaken the divine light, the divine radiance in every person. He is the Lord of earth, coming through all faiths, lifting up all faith paths, lifting up all persons, Every person is an individual expression of God's glory in that human being. And so Christ is here to love us as he always has and always will, and to encourage us and inspire us to be the fullest expression of that divine love and divine light as he has expressed it in his great example and in his living spirit today.